If I eat 100, most miles, I'll be filled up. Everybody knows that young children, particularly toddlers, two to four year olds, are subject to impulsivity. And it has been thought that that is a characteristic that children are born with. Do you know what? It is snack time now. And so what we wanted to know is whether or not some of these differences between children can be influenced by their own rational thought processes. We wanted to, to manipulate children's beliefs about how reliable the environment that they were in was. We assigned kids to one of two conditions, either the, the reliable condition or the unreliable yeah. condition. So for the art supplies that you get to use, you actually have a choice. You can either use these crayons right now, or if you can wait for me to go get some from the other room, you can use our big set of art supplies instead. The kids in the reliable condition, when the experimenter came back into the room, had the, the, the better thing. Um, and for the kids in the unreliable condition, um, the experimenter apologized and said she'd made a mistake. Um, we didn't have that available and then helped them use the, the first option. Listen, I'm so sorry, but I actually don't have that big set of art supplies I told you about. Sorry about that. But you can still use these ones to make your project. A classic example of a task in which children show right, impulsivity sure is what's called the marshmallow task. For your snack, you have a choice. Look what I've got. Marshmallow. <laughs> yeah, so wait just a second, let me explain. So you can either eat this one marshmallow right now, or if you can wait for me to go get it from the other room, you can have two marshmallows instead. I want, I want, two, I want two marshmallows. And what we found, which was an incredibly large effect, the children who were in the unreliable group were more likely to fairly quickly pick up the marshmallow and eat it. So on average, they waited about three minutes. And did you know I'd not eat this marshmallow? The children who were in the reliable group waited four times longer. So they waited about 12 minutes, which is an incredibly long time. For, for young children to wait before they get uh, a reward. The differences may be due to a different in expectations about what's likely to happen in the world. That's what this experiment was designed to address. Any three-year-old self-control is not necessarily at the top of their <laughs> skill base, but in general, when she sets her mind that she's gonna do something, she's gonna do it. In the marshmallow task, I was like, what you wanna do is you wanna get the most amount of marshmallow possible, <laughs> um, but there may be other considerations. Given that I have this one marshmallow now that's guaranteed, what are the chances that if I wait, there's gonna be a second marshmallow later? If it was a uh, teacher he had all the time, that if they would have that trust bond a little bit longer, that he'd probably wait longer. One of the lines of work that evolved as a result of the marshmallow task was to look at the outcomes of children's behavior later in life. But something that's been missing from the equation is this rational process by which children are accessing information in their environment and making decisions about whether they should behave in the short term or behave in the long term. So if they're in an environment in which long-term gain is very rare, well then it makes perfect sense for them to behave impulsively because that's going to maximize their reward. How's it taste? a production of the University of Rochester. Please visit us online and subscribe to our channel for more videos.